Real railroads operate for a purpose, whether it's to transport passengers or freight. That's why a model railroad layout shouldn't just have trains going around and around. The trains need to be there for a reason and have a job to do. You can give purpose to your model railroad by building industries that depend on shipments from one to another, or by establishing interchanges with other railroads, and by creating towns that need a passenger service. The best industries to include are usually the ones that have the greatest variety of rolling stock and traffic movements. You could include an interchange track if you want a variety of inbound and outbound cars with empty or full loads. As an example, a small layout could look very realistic with two interchange tracks servicing two other railroads. It might have no industries, yet still be very busy serving as a bridge line. You could include a chemical plant such as a plastics or pharmaceutical factory. This type of industry would involve the movement of tank cars, covered hoppers, and boxcars to and from the facility. Another idea would be a meatpacking plant, where cars containing livestock go into the plant and refrigerated reefers of processed meat come out. You could also operate tank cars of byproducts and box cars of hides leaving the plant. It would make sense to include a farm scene on your layout and perhaps even a factory making cheese or ice cream. An auto factory is another busy industry you could consider for your layout. There could be a lot of comings and goings, including various sized boxcars, gondolas carrying coiled steel, tank cars bringing in gasoline and lubricants. Exiting the plant could be auto racks and some tank cars containing waste oil. Yet another idea would be a repair shop for servicing rolling stock. The Class 1 railroads keep up-to-date fleets of locomotives and maintain big workshops for servicing their own cars. However, the smaller car repair shops will work on a range of privately operated cars, including auto racks and beer can tank cars. Some layouts include a car ferry, as this can also offer a variety of movements with car loadings. The ferry will need to keep to schedule, so a car float or ferry would have interesting operational challenges. A brewery is another good idea, providing lots of traffic movement. A plant like this can have a variety of inbound and outbound traffic, including large covered grain hoppers and grain-loading boxcars. There could also be a variety of tank cars, including cars containing fuel, such as coal or oil, for the boiler house, food-loading reefers, and even gondolas taking away broken glass for recycling. Remember, every large industrial factory needs the occasional delivery of new machinery transported on a flat car, so you get plenty of variety with a busy industry like this. Another busy industry worthy of consideration would be a paper mill. This industry might be very busy with daily freight and supplies. Inbound loads could include wood chip cars, bulkhead flats containing pulp wood, tank cars containing various chemicals, special box cars, and covered hoppers. Outbound traffic would typically include boxcars loaded with giant rolls of paper. So, as you can see, there is no shortage of possibilities. You just have to decide what interests you, and what would best suit your layout and the space you have available. And, if you would like some more helpful ideas, then have a read of this handy ebook. At the time of making this video, you could still download it from the website shown on the screen. 
You'll find it has plenty of useful tips, include many I had never seen before. Hopefully it's still available.